Well, well, well. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for part two of Who's Alice? So without further ado, may I present to you the wonderful cast of Who's Alice? I really don't see why we bothered to come here. It's already quite obvious. Uh, I told you that you didn't have to come with me. But my golf khaki cancelled the session last time, so this morning I have to do come with you. Lah. Thomas Wong? Uh, yes. Please, take a seat. I'm Dr. Josephine, <coughs> but you can just call me Dr. Jo. I understand the counsellor at SAMH referred to you to me because you have some questions. Yes, I'm here. Well, my father and I are here today because... Because... <coughs> Oh, because uh, somebody uh, we know, maybe... Bah, don't talk about her like that! She's not! But of course she is! You know, she's talking nonsense and scaring everybody away. You really shouldn't have bothered to come. What do you mean? I know, you just make a scene! But she's going to be at my future doctor in law. Just come on her. What? Yes. Thomas, I'm assuming this is your father? Yeah. Mr. Wong? Yeah. You feel that your son's girlfriend is... Fiance. Her? You feel that your son's fiancé is not a sound mind? Uh, yes. So... So so we call off the wedding? No! Uh, so... But so we can, what can we do? But we can't get the wedding deposit back, right? What can we do for her? What exactly does she say or do? Um, she believes she has an imaginary friend from her childhood days. Not the problem is she still talks to her. No. Uh, no, no, she doesn't talk to her now. Or she, it's not like she's standing beside her or anything. You know, they don't even talk by phone. Says her friend doesn't like headphones. She just believes she's still in contact with her, like through emails or by letters. Well, well now, nowadays people still write letters. I mean, the last letter I received was from HDD, you know? So, Thomas, Mr. Wong, how long have you known about this? 27 days. It all started uh, when we were very ready to uh, guess this for the wedding invite. No, 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 no. I think it all started uh, when she was in primary school. But the, the, she was a, there was a friend she called Alice. Remember, you know her best friend. Children often have active imaginations, so it shouldn't be something you should worry about. Huh. So. Well. There is a very rare condition called childhood schizophrenia. Oh, I know, I know, I know. The one is the, the murderer that hear voices in their head and then uh, ask them to kill somebody, right? <gasps> but I see that a lot on TV. No, Mr. Wong, not quite like that. Schizophrenia is not as uncommon and dangerous as you might think. It affects about 1% of the population. Causes are still unclear, often thought to be an interaction of factors such as genetics and stress. Stress? Like a new school. I know she had to change a couple of schools a couple of times when she was much younger. Yeah, yeah, stress lah. I should get get up early in school, right? Work, planning a wedding. Yeah, planning wedding also stress. You see? Does she have a sibling, a parent, or relative with a history of schizophrenia? No, not that we know of. Tell me about her behavior, especially if there have been changes. Oh yes. Recently, she seems to get agitated more easily. Then she's calm and happy again moments later. <laughs> Mood swings to a certain extent is normal. But if it's really extreme, it could be a disorder. A disorder? What kind of disorder? Bipolar disorder. What now? You mean maybe also got bipolar disorder? I think you better tell her mum also. Ah, please don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Let's not call anyone. Blow this matter up, okay? We do not know if she's affected yet. Right. However, your father may be right. It would be good to discuss your observations of her with the parents. So, will the children get the disease from the parents? Children of parents with mental illness are at a higher risk of developing the illness as compared to the general population. Oh, well, now imagine what will happen to our grandchildren. Ah, do you think uncle and auntie are? I mean, but they seem so... Normal? It may be interesting to note that most of us have a certain degree of OCD. Oh, the OCD, I know that one very common nowadays. Uh, it's called uh, obsessive computer disorder, right? <laughs> I mean... It's, everybody is having that now. Have you ever had a quirk? Perhaps needing to arrange items in a straight line or grouping things in a certain number? 
or perhaps making U-turns just to make sure you turn off the oven or to check if you lock the door. Some superstitions can also lead to OCD behaviour, but that should not be considered a disorder unless it affects your daily life. <coughs> I happen to know, Pa, that you're really afraid of the number four. And you love, you love the number eight. So oh, sure, this is fun, ma. You know, this is my secret successful business formula, you know. It's not like a selling floor tiles. Can I anyhow come on? Okay, fine. What about all the times? You U-turn the car just to go home and check if we switch off the lights. Yeah, because I know how careless you are, right? Oh, so you don't trust us, lah. I'm not that I don't trust them, but it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Yes. So yeah. I think we better not go ahead. Not go ahead with what? With the wedding, lah. What? Ah, maybe she she does not have schizophrenia. We do not know at all at this point if she's affected. The best thing would be to get her in, and we can better determine where we're at. Okay, I, I think I better go back and, and tell your mum and get her prepared. No! Pa! Wait! <sighs> you know, just a month ago I was... I was looking forward to a new life. With the... With a new home. Family. Children with my wife. But, but now I... Nothing has changed. It can still be your wife. You can still build a lovely home with wonderful children. Many people live with this condition and there is nothing that cannot be handled as long as they have love and support, especially from those close to them. But if, but if Maddie really has schizophrenia, then she needs proper help and treatment. And we can help her, or direct her to the right channels. Then maybe my father is right. How can I marry her? What will our life together be like? If you can support her... I'm just a junior accountant. Starting out at this new company. Thomas. Treatment may not be as expensive as you think. She can always approach a voluntary welfare organization, such as the Singapore Association for Mental Health for Rehabilitation and Counseling. But, but, how, but how would I know it? If, how would I know? If... You, she will get better? No. If I can take care of her. I love her. And I want to do whatever I can. But I don't know how. <clears throat> you can start by assuring her that you will be there for her. <laughs> she knows that. You know that. But does she really? My daughter, Madeline Chan. Please take a seat. Thank you. It's really wonderful that Tom and his parents and all of you can be here today. Dr. Joe, what are the chances of Maddie having schizophrenia? Because I experienced. <laughs> sorry, sorry, we are late. Parking is difficult, you know. Let's see how she's going to make a fool of herself now. It's all right, man. we just arrived as well. Thank you for having to see Dr. Joe Maddie. So, Dr. Joe, uh, they agree to come if they find that there's something wrong with them? I agreed to come so that Dr. Joe will tell all of you that I'm fine. So, Madeline, how are you feeling today? I'm good. Just a little tired from all the overtime at work and the wedding preparations. Any feelings you would like to share? Well, I'm happy with most things in my life. It's just that 
I am a little hurt when the people closest to me won't believe me when I tell them the truth. And what is the truth? The, 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 the truth is, uh, her invisible friend is still real. And what is your friend's name, Madeline? Alice Teo. And how often do you contact Alice? Maybe two or three times a year by email, usually to wish her happy birthday or Merry Christmas. And does she respond? Yes, but always a week late at least. So when was the last time you saw her? In person? I think, I think just after we collected our PSLE results. <laughs> Since then, we've only exchanged photos by letters or email. Has she ever been to your home? Only once, I think. And, and only to the door. She never entered. <gasps> and my mom has met her. I don't remember meeting an Alice if I did meet her. So does she need treatment? Mr. Wong, it's too soon to even diagnose. Madeline is very coherent. She also doesn't seem depressed. This could also be a case of Mrs. Chan simply not remembering Alice from so many years ago. See, I told you, huh? Yeah, you know, we're getting old in age, and sometimes we may just forget who we have met and who we haven't. Right, it, yes, it's quite common. But I'm not saying... Don't jump to conclusions. Exactly. Don't, don't jump to conclusion. Dr. Joe. Do you know a Dr. Jaira? From IMH? Oh, oh that's, that's Oak Ridge, right? No, it's called Institute of Mental Health now. It's okay, it's okay. He's one of the senior doctors there, one of the best. Yes, yes. Dr. Jaira told us that. Uh, schizophrenia is hereditary. Uh, see, I told you I'm right. Can I told you right, I'm right. Can we just focus on Maddie? You still remember how I brought you to all the appointments? Sally? Sometimes it took me a while to just talk you out of to leaving the house and going for your appointments. But it was all worth it. I must admit, I was trying to impress my boss just about the time that Maddie was born. I was spending more time with people who didn't even care whether I'd eaten all day rather than with my caring wife and my baby girl. But working no choice, ma. You always have a choice, dear. I had my priorities all wrong. I thought by working hard and taking care of my family, but instead, I've started to neglect them. I was slowly losing my way. So, in a way, you helped me realize that. Helped me find my focus again. That's beautiful. Beautiful, my foot. That's terrible. Her daughter got the disease and then now she's going to pass to our grandchildren. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong. It is not a disease. It doesn't work that way. You don't bluff me, okay? Don't, just because you have a degree. All right, nobody's trying to bluff Please, you. Please, gentlemen. Yeah, let's be civilized. Okay. Since there is genetic history and all of you here are concerned about the recent changes in Madeline, Let's monitor her condition for the time being. Yeah, but what kind of treatment are we looking at? Electric shock, right? Oh, oh, I mean, does yeah. she need treatment? Uh, I don't don't call you before she fully recovers. Before, unless too late already. Everyone, please, just calm down. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make sure...
come back on Monday for follow-up? Oh, I think you should. Your boss will understand. Yes, we are behind you every step of the way. I'm sorry, but no. I will not. There is no need. And this is not a figment of my imagination to talk. I know her and she wouldn't miss our wedding for the world. Just all of you wait and see! I believe her. Do you? Of course he doesn't. Well, I, I stand by her. Dr. Joe, what do we do now if she refuses to go for the follow-up? You can monitor her behavior and keep a close watch. Remember to be supportive, not judgmental. I tell you. If no treatment, no wedding, huh? In sickness and in health, I am going to marry Maddie. And I will take care of her. You see our son? I mean, he go crazy! Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are all delighted that you have taken time out to join us for this very special occasion. The happy union of Thomas and Anthony. <laughs> so without further ado, please put your hands together. Let's rise and welcome the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Wong. Challenge and some time to be able to have some peace and independence, huh? <laughs> yeah, Tom just told me that you got your job promotion. Congratulations. Thank uh, you, thank you. Long overdue. With all that overtime, you can ask the colleagues later on. How many times do you have to take taxi back home late at night? It's okay, but nowadays overtime is normal. Hey, speaking of your colleagues, are they all here? Yeah, yeah, over there, those two tables. Oh, there's they're really nice and we've grown really close over the past year. No, better be with all that overtime with them. Not that I want to say anything. We can guess who is not coming tonight. Ah, please, not here, not now. But she didn't even attend our the church wedding this afternoon. I mean, I don't think she'll come to dinner as her so-called friends. 
Ya, tarik. Ah, what, what would you do if I had schizophrenia? But you're not, right? But if I had, would you love me any less? Of course, Mary, not to marry me. Of course, I mean, don't, don't ask the question. Tom is right. It's time for you to learn to be brave. Brave? Yes. I don't know why you're so afraid of things you do not understand. I'm not afraid! <laughs> yes, you are. Whether it's a new gadget, a different job, or an unusual situation. Maggie is our daughter-in-law now. She's no different or unusual. I never changed series. But you act as if she is. Ever since that night when we make the guest list, you have been behaving as if she's a mistake. Let me ask you an important question. Do you trust Tom? Of course I do. I, again, you ask the question. Then trust that he isn't making a mistake. Let them be happy. And not just for today. <laughs> Looks like everybody's having an awesome time, yeah? <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, um, um, are you ready for your speeches? Oh, uh, yeah? yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, go, go, go. Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have been enjoying the sumptuous dishes I've been staring at all night long. Tell me, is the dish good? Good, huh? Okay, I'll just try that one. Okay, and tonight is a spectacular evening where we can't get enough of the newly wet so Luckily, they have some thoughts and stories to share with us. So, without further ado, may I present to you the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Wong. Uh, hi everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I know it's a Friday when everyone could be out there partying or watching a movie. You are all amongst our closest friends and relatives. I want to keep this uh, <clears throat> short and simple. So thank you for being here. Also, thank you to my... for always looking out for me. I know that as your only son, you only want the best for me, even though sometimes it may seem like I'm rebellious or like I define you. Please know that I never meant to be rude at all, and I still love and respect you. Thank you for trusting me. And Maddie, remember that if I ever remember that if I ever say no to you. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Chan for entrusting your only daughter to me. She is truly precious to me, and I will do all that I can to support and take care of her. As they say, as they say in sickness and in health. I'm fully aware now of what that means, and I completely embrace it. So last but not least, to my wife, who's given me new purpose and direction on how to live the rest of my life. You know, when we met in uni, I didn't know how much it would mean to me. But now I'm prepared for where this journey will take me, as long as I'm with you. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tom has said most of our thank yous. So thank you, Tom. I would like to thank my colleagues for taking the night off to be here. Just kidding, guys. I'm really glad all of you are here. I hope you're not too tired. Thank you, Dr. Joe, for coming tonight. To my parents, my mother and father have always been sensible, caring, and wise. And I would like to think that they pass those attributes to me I hope that they can be as proud of me as I am of them. They mean well, and they are not afraid to tell me the truth about anything. 
I am also not afraid of the truth. And the truth is, I love Tom. <laughs> so, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Wong, for letting me have him. I promise I will cook his favorite chicken soup every Sunday. And Tom, I know you could have chosen to walk away from this at any time. But thank you for always standing by me. Because the truth is... I wanted to support you. Wait. So, so right up until a minute ago, you you actually thought I had schizophrenia. It, yes, I. Sorry. And you wanted me to get help, treatment, medication, appointments. I'm sorry. I really. And you were going to make sure that I got all of those and never missed any of them. Yes, but only because I. Thank you. What? 
still wanted to marry me? Of course. So, thank you. That means more to me than whether or not Alice really exists. What, getting married? No, silly. You were ready to take care of me. I didn't know how to, and I still wouldn't if you, you had schizophrenia. But I was ready to do what it takes. Dr. Joe was going to help you as much as he was going to help me. And if your father could do it, then so can I. I suppose you really do love me. Yes, I do, Manin Chan. Oh, <laughs> with all my heart. And I love you too. Wait a minute. Not imagining all of this. Or you, am I? Of course not. <laughs> She's afraid of cat, and then she goes skydiving, adventuring, and <laughs> I can't figure that out. But anyway, I'm going to get to the most important part of the night. Okay? Right? Where, where's the MC? Most important right. part? What's that? Where's the program? I thought you had it. Oh, no, no. So! <laughs> Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the blissfully wedded couple and their parents, I'd like to thank everybody for, uh, for your wonderful gifts, your unpals, and most importantly, your presence here tonight. Now, uh, with that, I'd like to introduce, uh, I'd like to invite all of you to join us for the most important part of tonight's program. I don't know. The Yam Yes! Oh. Make sure all of you have enough in your glasses. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Everybody get ready, everybody get ready. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, hey, where's everybody? Ah, you're right. Okay, we're gonna invite everybody to join us. Come on, come on, make sure you have enough in your glasses. Right, right, right. Yes, join us, join us. Yes, everybody. Yeah, ready? Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Since uh, it's, it's for our dear Thomas and Madeline, we're going to wish uh, the newlyweds a uh, Ready? Yeah! And for the second and third young saying, we'd like to invite, of course, our our VIPs come on stage to join us. Please, please, please. <laughs> Yes, yes, our friends from SANH as well as our guests of honor to come and join us on stage for our uh, Yang Sing. <laughs> Big round of applause, please, everybody. Uh, all right. Make sure you all have enough in your glasses, uh, everybody. We want all of you to rise with the toes for S A M H as well. So make sure you have enough in your glasses. Make sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, ready, everybody. Everybody, rise with your glasses. Come on, let's toast. Uh, not just uh, to yes. <laughs> we just want to get everybody involved in this uh, special toast. 
Remember, our heart is all about touching hearts. Our theme is about touching hearts and reaching minds, alright? We want your hearts to be filled with love always. So everybody, get ready. Yes. Ready? Ready? Okay, I'll be the one to do the yum, alright? Ready? For S-A-M-H, touching hearts, reaching minds. Here we go. Yeah. Especially all of you, you are family. All right, so embracing families and celebrating life. Everybody, yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. We wish everybody uh, great mental health. Thank you so much. <laughs> We'd like to thank our VMs. Thank you so much. Please take your seats. Next, I would like to invite the crew and uh, to join the cast of Who's Alice. Please come up, please don't be shy. Please don't be shy. Especially the very, very creative, very, very talented Jillian. Jillian, come, 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 come out. Alright? Ladies and gentlemen, they have put in an immense amount of creative effort, their hearts, their minds, their souls into this project. So let's give them a big round of applause. We'd like to thank our, our members there over there as well, our crew over there. The other half of Jillian and uh, uh, everybody uh, who has supported us with sound and lights and every uh, the video as well. Thank you so much everybody. Thank you. Thank you. The cast and crew of Blue Sadness. To, of course, uh, make a special note, ladies and gentlemen. Our guest of honor, Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chihian, will now take his leave. Please join me in thanking DBM for graciously taking time out to thank you, thank you, DBM Teo, for being with us this evening, and also continuing to support us in making a difference in the lives of so many people. Thank you. Now for the round of draw, I'd like to invite on stage Associate Professor James Wong to join us. Is it? 